Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to make some really quick, continuous bias binding using a fat quarter. This is the method I use to make my bias binding. And what's really awesome is you can use these fat quarters. I'm going to show you how today. We're getting ready to start a new series here on my channel, uh, Mug Rug of the Month. And on some of my mug rugs, I like to use bias binding, especially for those curved edges. So I'm going to try to walk you really quick through how I make my bias binding. And we're going to get started right now. The first thing you want to do is grab a fat quarter, open this up and go give it a press nice and flat. Once you've pressed your fat quarter, Generally, they're about 18 inches by 22, sometimes 21, sometimes 21 and a half. The orientation of your uh, fat quarter should be approximately 18 by the length 22. We're going to take our fat quarter and I'm just going to fold it over just like this and create a square lining up this raw edge just like that. I'm going to trim off this extra that hangs beyond that folded edge. And then I'm just going to hold this in place. And I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut this folded edge. So now we have two triangles. Now here's the part that might get a little bit confusing. We're going to take this top triangle and we're going to rotate it one time just like this. We're going to line up these two raw edges and we're going to throw some pins in there. We're going to bring this over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew along that edge. I like to use a quarter inch seam allowance. You could use a half inch seam allowance if you want. Once you've sewn your seam, go ahead and take that to the pressing board and just press that seam open nice and flat. Now we're ready to mark the back side of our fabric. Now the cool thing about this is you can make your binding strips as thin or as wide as you want, right? The thinner you make your binding strips, the more length of binding you're going to get from this piece. Generally, um, on a lot of my mug rugs, I like to make my bindings about two and a quarter inches wide, but for this one, we're just gonna say two inches uh, of two inch wide binding. <laughs> Sorry, my COVID brain. Uh, I'm recovering from COVID. So happy new year to me, right? We're gonna go ahead and start marking our fabric. So I'm just gonna use a dark uh, marker so that you could see this in the video. We're going to measure over from the raw edge of our binding strip, whatever width you want to use. I'm going to use two inches, like I said, and we're going to just start drawing lines all the way through our binding. Once you get to the edge and you're going to have a little bit of leftover, I go ahead and just cut that off with my rotary cutter. Your amount left over might be different depending on how wide you're making your binding strips. Just make sure it's nice and straight. So 
So once you have all your lines on the back, we're going to flip this over with the pretty side facing up and we're going to bring in the two ends just like this. I'm hoping you can see those lines. They're kind of faint. Uh, our first instinct and where I messed up all the time when I first started making bias binding like this, our first instinct is to match up these lines nice and straight, right? I sewed lots of bindings and realized that I did it wrong. So here's what you need to do. You're going to take the end of your binding and you're going to offset it by one line. So we're just going to scoot this down until the lines meet like this. And you have one line over here one line over here you're going to have a little bit of extra tail over here and a little bit of extra tail over there this took forever for my brain to wrap around but this is actually right so once you've offset that by one line you got your extras we're going to match up these lines and we're going to go ahead and start pinning this seam right there once you do this a couple of times You'll become an old pro at it. <laughs> so there's our first pin. Now I'm just going to continue pinning this seam right there. These lines should match up. Right there's a line, right there's a line. And again, we're going to bring this over to the sewing machine. And I like to use a quarter inch seam allowance. You could use that half inch seam allowance if you want. And you're going to notice this looks awful awkward, doesn't it? <laughs> but we're going to bring this over to the sewing machine. We're going to flatten this out just like that, okay? Just take it and make it so that it lays nice and flat. And we're sewing that seam right there at the sewing machine. Coming back from the sewing machine, I'm not going to uh, press that seam yet. I'll press these little seams of our binding as we make the binding. So all that's really left now is to take our pair of scissors and we're going to start cutting right on the line that we drew uh, from earlier. When you get to the end, once you cut this, you're going to notice you have all of this continuous long bias binding strip. I'm going to measure this out before we're done just to tell you how long it is. But all that we have left to do now is to fold this in half and give it a press all the way from one end to the other. And we're going to have all of this quilt binding. Let me go ahead and do that and we'll finish up. When I'm making my binding for mug rugs and quilts, I just simply fold the binding in half just like this and press from one end to the other. When I come to the seams that I haven't pressed yet, I just open up that binding strip, press that seam open, and then finish pressing. 
all the way from one end to the other. Press, press, press. So after pressing my binding, I went ahead and measured it. We have 156 inches of continuous bias binding. That's about three and a half mug rugs worth of binding from one fat quarter. That's a lot, right? So uh, yeah, approximately 156 continuous inches of bias binding from one fat quarter. We did have a good little size strip left over, so that's going in my scrap basket. I hope you have found this helpful, and just remember, it does take a couple times to do it before it just really clicks and becomes second nature, uh, and it's going to feel awkward the first couple times you try it. Keep in mind, we're going to start the Mug Rug uh, Club of the Month, Mug Rug of the Month, but it's not really a club, but we're going to do that live in the evenings this year. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that so you get notified when I put out new videos and when I go live. If you find this helpful, I'd love to hear from you down below. Till I see you soon. Bye, everybody.